Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the 12 days of tutorials. Today is day number five. If you don't know what I'm talking about, back on December 1st, I started uploading every other day eyeshadow tutorials based around the holidays. So like looks for parties, looks for just Christmas shopping, minimal looks, glam looks, you know, everything. I do have a list of all my eyeshadow palettes down in the description box below if you want to check them out and let me know if there's a particular palette you want me to use or if there's a particular look that you want me to try and recreate. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you get notified when I upload a video. So for today's video, day number five, we're going to be using the Morphe Mickey and Friends Truth Be Bold palette. Now the reason I'm going to be using this palette is because someone had asked and requested me to recreate create this look right here and this I think is the only palette that I'm going to be able to get kind of close to that look because of the blue shadow. I don't really have any other eyeshadow palettes with a blue in it which I just now, you know, looking for uh, a palette to do this look. I just now realized like I don't really have any eyeshadow palettes that have blue but there is a nice blue color in here so I'm hoping that I can get somewhat close to this look. We will see. Also, before we get started, I don't know if you can see, but my face is really red and kind of swollen. I've had an allergic reaction, it looks like, to a skincare product I used yesterday, which is odd because I used that same skincare product a few days prior and did not have this issue. Uh, but yeah, so my face is a little red, a little swollen, but we're gonna hide that with makeup later on. So let me zoom you in and we'll get started. So my eyes are primed, I use the Rare Beauty Eye Primer. As always, set it with a little bit of powder and oh my, zooming you in, you can absolutely see <laughs> the redness in my face, like where the allergic reaction is happening. Ugh, it's awful. The first shade we're going to start with is Push It and I'm using a Michaela Glam Light number one brush. And then we are going to put that in the crease as the transition shade. Now I always have an issue, well maybe not an issue, but I have a hard time recreating looks. Like I want it to look exactly like the picture, but <laughs> usually doesn't happen that way. But we will see. take the shade Secret Weapon with a Sigma E25. Again, my brush is clean, just very badly stained, but we are going to put this in the crease and I'm going to start with just a little bit of product and build up from there. So I found it better to actually pack on the color before blending it to kind of keep it dark because in the picture it kind of, I'll put it right here, it kind of looks like this is like a, a gray, like a charcoal color or something which unfortunately in this palette there is none, uh, like no gray or anything. Now there is black but I'm trying not to put black in my crease. <laughs> my first brush and the first shade and I'm just very gently and lightly blending on the top of that darker shade. Went back into Secret Weapon just to kind of deepen up the crease some more. Now I'm gonna take the shade Troublemaker with my finger and I'm gonna put that all over the lid and I'll probably have to go in with a brush because my fingernails aren't gonna allow me to get everywhere. <laughs> And 
and I am taking a Sigma E54 to kind of just go over the rest of my lid that my finger did not reach. Back to the shade Secret Weapon, I put just a very little bit on my brush and I'm just going over top of that shimmer where it meets the crease. Also taking that same shade secret weapon and I'm putting just a little bit on the outer part of my lid Now don't worry about the outsides here we are gonna clean that up but I feel like the crease color just isn't matching like it needs to be darker so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the black shade and put it in the crease I hope it doesn't mess this look up so I'm gonna take play by ear with a morphe m139 brush I put very very little on that brush and I'm just kind of very lightly going over the crease So I definitely think that worked out a lot better. So I'm gonna go back to that very first brush we used. I'm not putting any product on it and just kind of gently blending over top of the crease just to make sure there's no like harsh lines or anything. So that's pretty much it for the top for right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and clean this off. I'm gonna do my face makeup and we'll be back to do the lower lash line. All right, so let's finish up the eyes and at the very end, I'll let you know the products that I used on my face. I'm gonna go back into the shade Secret Weapon with a NARS 14 brush and I'm putting that along the entire lower lash line. And then going back into push it with a Sigma E45. I'm using that to blend out the shade on the lower lash line. I'm putting it just like right at the bottom of that shade. And last, I'm going into staring contest with a Sigma LO4. And I'm using that as an inner corner highlight. So that's it. So let me go do liner and lashes and I'll be back to show you the finished look. All right, I'm back. Here's the finished look. So what do we think? Do we think that it looks in comparison? I think it looks a little similar. I don't think it looks exactly, but I think I pulled it off for the most part. For the products I used earlier on my face, so for foundation, I used the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. For bronzer and blush, I used the Westman Atelier um, Bronzer in Biscuit, and then the blush in Petal. I also used the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I put a little bit, like, you know, like right here on the sides. And then I did set my face with some powder. And then for the lipstick, I have the Natasha Denona My Dream Collection lipstick, which is in the shade, I think it's Natasha. Yeah, 
Natasha. Now for my eyes, for the wing liner, I used the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. I did put black in my waterline. I used the House Labs Black Gel Coal Pencil. And then for the mascara, I used the YSL Lash Clash. I put that on the bottom lashes and the top. For lashes, I used Angela Bright's company, The Bright Lashes. I used one of her half lashes. Not sure which one. It was Flutter or Flare. I'm not sure which one I used. <laughs> but that's the lashes I used. And I guess that's really it. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments with this look. Did I recreate the look? I mean, I know it is not the same, but is it similar? Let me know. So again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can get notified when I upload videos. I will have everything linked down in the description box. I'll have the palette as well as everything else that I used on my face as well as a link to a list of all my eyeshadow palettes. If there is a particular palette you want me to use, let me know. Again, thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys on day six.